So Don really tries to grab the ball. Okay. Oh, oh, oh that's yeah. it, John's done. Okay. Well, let's explain what happens and how I control the situation. From here, John already picks his target. He picks the head or the torso okay, inside his brain. So he has target acquisition. But then when I do this, it starts to give John a new target. So he just sees what's in front and his understanding of gauging distance changes. Right now, he thinks he's got me, okay? If I do this, I replace my head with my hands. He thinks he's got me. It gives me a bit of reach. You saw what I do with my stance. I give myself the ability to move back and forth quickly like a, like a fencer, okay? So he goes for the swing like this. When John exerts the swing, I move back, I lunge back. I come in as the, the swing is still finishing its arc. Okay. Then here I've already made touching contact with his face. From here, even if John, John, can you swing full speed at me from this angle? Just think, swing, really swing. Like, really swing and try to hit me. Oh, that's my fucking... Like, like, swing really hard and try to hit me from here. John, try to hit me really hard, man. Just try to, try to hit me. It's very, very difficult. Okay, so... So anyway, so John swings, it comes through, I immediately breach here. I don't have to do anything too violent. I can come in and crack John and I can spin him like this and I can bring him down and I can start to work with him how I want. But the point remains, as long as you take the person's face after you gauge the distance, give him a target, he swings through, you make contact with his face, maybe in his eyes, maybe crack here, maybe just chop a little bit to his jaw, boom, a little bit like this, whatever you want, work this way, work with his hair, bring him down, smack him, get rid of this stick, break some fingers, whatever you want, it's how you want to work with the guy. It's very important to, to understand how to replace the target of the head with the hands and then you can start to operate how you want. Sometimes things are not completely clean and ideal, but uh, you can practice safely with the professional how to do these things. You can go through it in slow motion with your friends and become a little bit more sensitized towards how to work with the baseball bat. Uh, nice and safe and uh, see you next time. Thanks, Johnny. Thank you.